Lori and Betty, uh, 33 and 38 Ocean Terraces. Happy New Year to you. Um, I wasn't getting that. But I have to address some of the tax abatement issues. Um, I'm from Matosa. If you don't know what that is, that's Marine Terrace, Ocean Terrace, Seaview Avenue. We fought for the eminent domain battle to keep our homes over since 2002 we fought, well actually 1995 on. Those tax abatements I just went through today on those two houses, those five, five years tax abatements, that was blood, sweat, and tears of my parents and everyone in that, 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 that community. So I will, those tax abatements are just, I don't think any, I don't know the logistics of it, but the Kirshner tax abatements and the South Broadway and stuff, you guys uh, inherited that stuff. They didn't, they didn't agree on that. That was, they, that, that fell in their lap and they, they have to deal with the contracts they have. Going forward, going forward, if we, you know, if you do a 30 day tax abatement, then we can yell at you. Um, I, I don't know if I'm right on that, but I think you would inherit all that stuff. Um, what, I, what I actually really was thinking about today is, um, my issues are the parking at um, uh, Ocean Terrace. I don't know if um, the chief has come up with some kind of a permit parking for the summer. Summer's gonna come around pretty soon. Um, and the beach, the beaches, uh, I don't know if there's anything you can do about it, but, and I don't know how many people it affects, it affects me. Um, I was on the beach the other day and a friend of mine called and said, you were on News 12. I'm like, how was I on News 12? And I was walking my dogs and News 12 took a picture of me and that was, I was their, their, their headline for their, the weather the whole night, over and over and over. Me and my Giants jacket and my three dogs. Um, and I bring that up because I walk my dogs on the beach a lot. Um, and from, you know that, from May to October, you can't walk your dogs on the beach. And I would beg you to try to change that policy, like from six, seven o'clock at night in the summertime that we can walk our dogs on the beach. It's hard to walk your dog on that promenade because there's so many people walking, not the promenade, on the, the, the tarmac. There's bikes and there's so many other people walking their dogs and it's really crowded in the summer, which is great for the city, but it's not good for people walking their dogs. Now it's great, I walk my dogs down, you know, it doesn't matter where I am on the, on the tarmac where the bikes are. But in the summertime, it's really, really um, dangerous and I have three. <laughs> So um, it's, it's, you know, other dogs coming towards you. If we had the opportunity to, to just go on the beach after everyone's, you know, after everyone's finished sunbathing, uh, I don't think that's too much to ask in the summertime. Because we miss, we miss the nice time, the nice, the nice weather. You know, yeah, I'm walking my dogs on the beach at nighttime in the wintertime, but, you know, as a taxpaying citizen, it would be nice to have that luxury to go on the beach at night. I know it's a silly, maybe a silly thing for some people, but it's important to me.